Welcome to the next section on the superficial front line. Here we're going to speak about the spleen meridian and this region from spleen 10 to spleen 12. And this overlaps with some master dung points that are numbered 88.09 through 88.11. They're otherwise known as the passing through kidney points. So to begin, let's start by talking about spleen 10, spleen 11, and spleen 12. So we know that spleen 10 is two sun above the medial superior border of the patella. And so this point actually overlaps with the master dung point 88.10. But as we've been discussing, the way that we use the master dung points are in sets of three when we needle them on the legs and the thighs. And so this point, 88.10, spleen 10, is needled with two other points. And that first point, 88.09, is located right at the intersection of two lines drawn from the medial and superior edges of the patella. So it's right there, essentially at the edge of the patella. And then two sun above that is spleen 10 or 88.10, and then two sun above that is 88.11. So you can see in the diagram on the right side, I've put these points in blue, and then the points in white are the four horses. Now, this isn't quite to scale, but um, you get the point here. So we've got these three passing through kidney points then that are on the spleen line, one of them overlapping with spleen 10, and then the other point two sun proximal and then two sun distal for these three points. Well, if we look at this, this is all part of the superficial front line because the muscle, the vastus medialis, is part of the superficial front line. And then we can see how this is connected through the rest of the channel there and the other muscles that are involved. Now, these points are widely used in the master dung system for treating kidney-related conditions. So kidney and urinary disorders, kidney vacuity symptoms of the head, low back pain, impotence, premature ejaculation, joint pains, and diabetes. And all of these things we can think of as kidney patterns. Now, they also treat gynecological things like leucorrhea and metaritis. You can use them for that as well. And so we find them being used for various kidney conditions as well as for edema and swelling. And we can think of that as a kidney pattern. And if we follow this line up, then spleen 12 is located three and a half sun lateral to ren 12 on the superior border of the symphys pubis there. So we start to get into this region. And on the interior side of that, we'll have the bladder is in close proximity to this. And I believe this is why these points are indicated for kidney and urinary conditions is because just under the rectus abdominis, and when we get up into the abdominal area, then we've got the bladder located in that area. And what else do I want to say about these points? The other thing is that they're indicated for clavicle pain. So the master dung points is a set. You'll see that I've highlighted clavicle pain there. And this seems like one of those strange indications that why would these points treat clavicle pain? And of course, we can trace the meridians up through the region of the clavicle. And I think it's really important to see what's going on here anatomically where the clavicle meets the sternum. So at the medial border of the clavicle, it joins into the sternum. And this is likely why these points can treat clavicle pain as well. And then it's indicated for gastroenteritis and sore throat. And again, we can just follow these lines up to see how these muscle groups form these fascial lines. Now, in TCM protocols, CV4 and CV6 are commonly used for kidney patterns and are on the superficial front line. But now we have this other group of points, the passing through kidney points, that we can use instead of these if you don't want to do local needling. And as I've been teaching through this course, there are a lot of advantages to doing distal needling and starting there 
namely the safety of the patients because you're not going to risk puncturing an organ. And then the distal points also produce stronger needle sensation. And in that stronger needle sensation, we typically get stronger therapeutic results than needling more locally.